What do you think about Kanye West and what, you know, he came out and said, you know, blacks must have been enslaved 400 years physically and mentally, and he doesn't want them to go through that. Right. Another 400 years, and he loved the great white hope. You know who the great white hope is, right? Trump. There you go. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about what he said <laughs> and what's happening with him right now? I think it's fantastic. Yeah. You know, if, if he's getting people to wake up and listen, yeah. wonderful. God yeah, bless really him. Is. And that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Maxine Waters, the Wicked Witch of the West. Yes. With the low IQ. Yeah. She said that Kanye West need to be quiet. She's crooked. I know. She said that he is, he doesn't realize that he is impacting the black community and especially young blacks. And I'm thinking that's a nightmare for her. It is. Because she does not want blacks to wake up. No. And see what's going on. Because then they'd see she's crooked. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't that amazing though that they were, they would vote for this woman. She's been there over 40 years. It's too long. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Enough already, man. Too long in a marriage. <laughs> and how do you feel about the great white hope? I love him. Me too. And why I do you love him? I think he's a fantastic him? president. Yeah. He means what he says, and he says what he means. I know. Isn't that something? And no one can control him yeah. or buy him. Now, that's an Afro male. That's right. All the way, capital that's right. Afro. And he had the relationships with all the powers around the world before he became president. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When he first announced that he was running, mm -hmm. and the things that he said, and he said it with such courage, no fear, I'm going to put a big, beautiful wall around the borders. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring jobs back. I'm going to do this. I said then, that's going to be our next president. Yeah, so did I. It was so, yeah, it was so refreshing coming yeah. from the eight years of hell right. with Barack Obama. And I realized, you know what? God is still with us that's right. in this country. And so far, he's been taking names and Amen. kicking butts. Amen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I'm loving seeing the liberals. They're just, they hate him. and they're like, <laughs> Their heads are spinning off. Yeah. Their heads are spinning around and around. They don't know what to do, and I love it. It's so much fun seeing that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and they underestimate him, which is exactly what he wants them to do. He and flushed out the rats. Yeah. And then, yeah, he let them hang themselves. And I knew that's what he would do. They play checkers, he plays chess. And it's wonderful. I sit back and I just watch him. And it's and fantastic. Observe. Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> it's just so mind-blowing. You know, I read a portion of his book. He was close to his father. Mm -hmm. He loved his mother. Mm -hmm. And I think when you have a good relationship with your parents, who are for the most part setting a good example for you, it kind of set the foundation for your life. Yeah, and I've also, I also take my opinion of him a lot from his children. Yes. And how they're, even though they're from different mothers, right. they are united. That's right. They're all his children, yeah. and they're always together, and they're so good, yeah. you know? And I just think that that says a lot about him. You can tell that they love him. Too. Yes. It's so important to have a good father and mother when you're growing up. It's like the number one thing yes, that we need. Yes, it is. One, two things, real fast. Okay. Um, so Kanye West, I want to go back to him. Yeah. So six years earlier, you had done the same thing that Kanye is doing today. Yes. And so when that, when you woke up and you heard about what he had gone through, what he was, had done and mm -hmm. going through, what was your first thought about? Good for him. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I know him, so I thought good for him. Oh, so you met him and you know him? Yes. Uh, were you surprised at what he did when he talked about how much he loved the president? and? No. And... Because he had taken those photos with him before, right. but then backpedaled from them, you know, about yeah. mental illness or whatever. But now I feel like he's feeling like, you know what, this is what I believe, and I have a right to believe this. <laughs> That's right. You know? It's amazing how people try to tell you how to think, and you have to stay on this plantation. No. If not, we That plantation come mentality, it's a psychological prison. Yes, it sure is. And that's the hardest prison to break. It's bad. It's bad. It's going to take God to It'd break be that. easier to break out of Rikers, I think. <laughs> you at one time said that you were going to run for Congress. Yes. Right? And then you decided not to. Why did you decide not to? Because I was rooting for you. Divine delay. And what do you mean by that? God said, not now. God showed me. He took the curtain back. He let me see behind the curtain and then said, okay, take what you need. Not now. Is acting still a passion of yours? 
We'll see. I'm doing a movie called Roe v. Wade. Well, now it's been changed to 1973. Uh -huh. And I'm playing Dr. Mildred Jefferson. Really? Do you know who she was? Yes, I do. Yes. That's amazing. I know. I'm so excited. It's the role of a lifetime. And when will it be out? Uh, it out? The fall. L this fall? Yes. I am looking forward to that. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you.